Collecting milk for the BC Women's Provincial Milk Bank is very rewarding as you are helping babies survive and thrive. Mother's milk is a gift that lasts a lifetime. Babies, particularly premature and ill babies, benefit from human milk as it provides properties that encourage strong immune systems and normal development of body systems. Mother's milk can be expressed and stored in the hospital and at home until the donor screening process is successfully completed. Many of our donors continue to donate over a number of months, whereas other donors have a stockpile of milk and make one donation. Here is some information to help with collecting, storing, and handling milk for donation to the milk bank. Find one time of the day to express milk for donation. This helps you maintain your milk supply and keep you comfortable. Wait to pump milk for donation to the milk bank for 12 hours after drinking alcohol, taking occasional medication, including herbs such as mother's milk tea. Before you handle pump equipment or pump express milk for donation, wash your hands and lather with soap. Rinse with warm water. Dry your hands with a clean paper towel. Before pumping, ensure your equipment is clean. Express milk by hand, hand pump, or electric pump. Maximize your milk power. Milk changes during the course of a feeding. The milk that comes at the start of a feed is lower in fat but has many beneficial properties. The milk towards the end is higher in fat and therefore higher calorie milk. For a NICU baby to grow well, there needs to be a mix of milk. Pumping after you feed your baby or pumping one breast until it is well drained will increase the fat content in your milk donation. Massaging your breast while pumping will encourage your letdown and increase the fat content in the milk. For premature babies who are often on restricted volumes of milk, having higher fat milk is very helpful. Secondhand pumps are thought to increase the risk of milk contamination as mold can grow inside some pumps. Check company recommendations on the internet. Place your milk in milk storage bags or into sterile plastic rigid bottles with lids like Snappies. Ideally, pump directly into the container you're going to store the milk in, whether it's a new milk storage bag or a clean bottle that is connected to the pump. Use a new container each time you express milk. Do not combine milk from separate pumping sessions into the same collection container. Please note, the milk bank cannot return containers to the donor. Allow an inch of space for the milk to expand in the container when frozen. If you are pumping directly into your storage container, open it and place the cap, if there is one, face up on the table. If you are pumping into a collection container and then pouring the milk into your storage container, leave the storage container closed until you are ready to transfer the milk. Do not touch the lip of the container or inside of the container or the inside of the lid. Using a permanent marker, mark your name, the date of expression, and the amount of milk in ounces or milliliters on the container. Refrigerate your milk as soon as possible, at least by 30 minutes after pumping. Freeze within 24 hours. Human milk can be stored in the refrigerator freezer for 6 months and deep freeze for 12 months. Do not store milk in the door of the refrigerator or the freezer door. Although not a problem for this make of pump, for other pumps, after pumping, check the tubing that connects your flange to the pump.
If there is any moisture, remove the flange from your breast and run the pump for a few minutes to dry the tubing out. Moisture left in the tubing can result in mold growing in the tubing and contaminating your milk. After expressing, wash your pump parts. Place a clean, dry bowl in the sink. And rinse the pump parts in cold water to remove any traces of milk. After rinsing, wash thoroughly with warm, soapy water. Liquid dish soap works well. Rinse well with hot water to remove all traces of soap and shake well to remove extra water. Dry with clean paper towel. Between uses, store in a closed container or in a new Ziploc bag in the fridge, leaving the bag open. Disinfect pump parts at least once a day by boiling clean parts for five minutes. Read the manufacturer's instructions for maintaining and cleaning your pump. If you are using milk storage bags, ensure the bag is sealed properly and freeze lying flat if possible. This will make storage easier and will result in less milk loss when the bag is defrosted in the milk bank, as there are fewer sharp points to nick other defrosting bags. Store frozen bags in a clean bin in the freezer. Store milk in the back or bottom of your freezer. When you send milk to the depot or milk bank, sort milk by dates, placing milk from the same period in a bag. For example, depending on the amount of milk and the size of the bag, place all the milk from one week or one month together in one carrying bag and label with the date. Please note, it is important to send the milk to the milk bank as soon as possible, as milk expires one year after the date it was pumped. Remember to check your freezer regularly to ensure that the power has not failed. And ensure everyone in your family makes sure the freezer is closed properly. Caution, if you are unsure about saving milk, save it. But note your question on the container and separate that milk from the rest. Call the Provincial Milk Bank if your baby or someone else in your home is sick, if you have developed mastitis, if you have developed a cold sore, if you have a yeast infection on your nipples, or if your baby has thrush. You get vaccinated. You or your partner gets a tattoo. If you have any other questions, you may wish to keep expressing your milk until your questions are answered. This maintains your milk supply and keeps your breasts comfortable. Notify the milk bank immediately if you have any changes in your health, your lifestyle, or in risk factors for disease. Call the Provincial Milk Bank at the BC Women's Hospital at 604-875-3743 Four, three, to ask about donating your milk. For more information about the BC Women's Provincial Milk Bank, go to bcwomens.ca and search Milk Bank. <laughs>